secret to gaining strength and flexibility together without going backwards with your flexibility training. This is something that so many people ask us, and maybe you can relate to it, where you feel like you make some...
What's up, everyone? Welcome to the show. Welcome to Thursday's workout for this week. This is our last bent arm strength session of this cycle before we deload next week. So last chance to get jacked. Let's get ready for the warm-up. Ready? Get jacked. What's up, tribe? Now let's introduce ourselves, of course, in front of the camera. If you're new to the crew, that is Rad Bormeister, co-founder of Unity Gym and the Unified Movement System. Behind the mix, we have Richie the Rig, the six foot seven giant with looks that could kill. And- uh, Biceps that do kill. Biceps that do kill. Across the uh, floor from me, socially distanced, is uh, Will Purcell, AKA Big Willie P our uh, manager, the man with the plan. Uh, and of course, my name is Yanni Bormeister and we are Unity Gym and the Unified Movement System. We turn driven people into strong, flexible, fit athletes. Every workout is a balance of strength, flexibility, and fitness. That is our promise to you. It is the most efficient 60 minute workout you will ever find. It will help you create the ideal athletic foundation that you can deploy into any sport or physical activity. Now I want you to take a moment during this warm up and smash that like button if you're liking Rad's lockdown haircut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he doesn't, uh, unlike me, he doesn't go for the shave, the clean shave. These boys are doing it tough at the moment. <laughs> I really want to also remind you guys, if you do have a moment, if you're spectating this morning or in between the workout and warm up, at some point share using the share button, share this stream to one of your favorite social media platforms. You have no idea how powerful it is when you do. The views, the people that this video will reach goes up exponentially. It is one of the best ways you can help support us here and support the channel. Uh, Will and I grabbed some statistics yesterday. We're gonna announce them on tomorrow's pre-workout show, but I can tell you that currently we have over 37 countries doing these workouts. 37 countries. I'm gonna name every single one of them tomorrow. On I the don't show. even know 37 it looks countries. As though, <laughs> it looks as though that Tuesday workout is on its way to going viral, it's had 3,700 views, which isn't huge for any viral video, but it's continuing to go up. Normally, it doesn't matter how high the views go on these live streamed workouts. When it gets to a certain point, it just tapers off, but it's had another 200 overnight. Well, I can tell you right now, oh, and this is well. another statistic we will share a bit more about tomorrow, 25,000 people have done these workouts in phase six. 25,000 people around the world. That Unique viewers. Insane. There you go. How good. In 37 countries. And most of that, guys, is because of you guys sharing. So please, please, please share. All right, who have we got first on the comments? Greg Gillespie. Look out. Hey, yo. Give that man some merch. Patricia Sturby, good morning. Juan Carlos Tashima. Hey. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I've been watching uh, Yanni all butcher. morning, that's not why, interrupting. That's why <laughs> Will didn't uh, didn't give the shout outs this morning. He wanted to see if I butcher butcher the name. Yeah. Who's this John guy? <laughs> <laughs> morning, Dave Clark. Morning, Gemma Loughran. Morning, Lee Thompson, Simon Morgan, Daljit. Morning, uh, Felix Leon. Pretty sure uh, Will sent you an email yesterday, Felix. Sure did. We've been emailing back and forth, having a great time, having a little chat. We've got Ivy TT on the live stream. Good morning, sending you back some love. Lucy Marsh, Wakefield, Max Silva. Thank you for sharing, Max. We saw that. Max gonna have Max gonna have so much Unity Gym and Unify Movement System merch. He's not gonna need another wardrobe. He's going to end up being a part owner or something. That's right. We might have to give him shares. We just don't have that stock. many t-shirts. <laughs> give him some stock. Who's this Will Purcell dude? I don't know, but he's pretty good looking. Oh, wow. I learned this morning on the news that that emoji is actually <laughs> passive aggressive. Really? we got Richard Lellies on the live stream. Who's that? I only know Richie the Rig. Alistair Bell, Sup Team, Vinnie Brown, High Tribe having on 
of one of my better peak weeks, making progress in some areas. Yeah, I've seen uh, seen some good uh, good videos. Roy Stern, morning everyone. Erica, morning, Roy, on morning, the stream. Erica. Morning, Erica. I ran morning, into Erica. Erica yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, I was walking down the street and I ran into her and her partner and uh, said, g'day, stayed socially distanced <laughs> from her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Didn't God. want no cooties. <laughs> Remember hugs in the street? Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. hugs in the street? Those days are gone. I met her partner for the first time and I had to give the, you know, the little elbow bump. <laughs> I didn't mm. have to, but felt compelled to. We got Katie McDonald on the live stream. Martin Kudel's joining us again. Morning, brother. Jeremy Tang in the house. Yeah, it's going to be a good day with Jeremy. The too. second most attractive person in the gym after Richie. Sheila Tang. Easy. Definitely the third most attractive person in the gym after Richie. Declan Lee. Margot Sawyer. We got Paul Lou Lee. Clark, good morning, Lou Bayers, and of course there is Max Silva. I'm invested, Max. I'm getting a, uh, I'm going to get a social NFT cryptocurrency. It's going to be called Unity. Well, actually, that's taken, so it'll be Jim, G Y M. And there's going to be all sorts of perks for people to hold the uh, Unity token. <laughs> Baby's going to the moon. Get your little moon bag. <laughs> <laughs> Pack your moon boots. Smash that like button, Tribe. And also remember, in the description of this video, you will find our merch site. If you are fortunate enough to get some merch, that's where you can go shopping. Connect with Will at will at unitygym.com and he'll hook you up. We've also got a, uh, a link in the description if you want to grab the full program, which includes the tutorials and program cards so you can slow it down and get the personal training sessions for each of the workouts. Uh, we also have links in the description for the um, metronome apps. They're free downloads for Apple and Android. If you guys want to take your training to the next level, that's how we uh, slow down the tempo. Uh, we get the tempo tracked in the gym here. And of course, uh, you can download our blueprints, all of the biggest lessons, secrets, aha moments from an accumulative 60 years of working in the health and fitness industry are in those four documents. And of course you will qualify for our inner circle and stay connected with me on a daily basis. I'm gonna remind everyone why I'm using these. Well, I'll remind you. you can, I'm using you these parallettes because I've got a wrist injury at the moment. So it takes the pressure off my wrist. And I'm setting up this intricate setup with the uh, yoga blocks so that I'm still representing having my hands on the ground. I don't want to make it that much easier for myself. Okay, so that's our, our first exercise is the pike push-up. And then we're gonna do our towel pull-ups. I'm gonna get my metronome app going in just a sec, and we'll get started. <clears throat> oh, look at that. This is, this, is, this is motion. Uh, this is exactly what I'm talking about, Tribe. Why don't you read out uh, Greg Gillespie's comment there, Will? <coughs> uh, shared on LinkedIn last week and got a call from a guy saying that it inspired him to get back into training in lockdown. Yo, Bioti, how exactly good. That's exactly what we're well talking done. about. How powerful is that? You have the power to train, change someone's <coughs> life here, Tribe. I really mean it. These are really, really good workouts. Of course, we can never say that they're guaranteed to be the best workouts. We thoroughly believe they are. Uh, we haven't been proven else otherwise, but Here we um, go. it's just a great way to help other people. This is one way you can do it. Share that stream. Use the share icon and then it, uh, use the share button and then it helps hack the algorithm and helps us <coughs> as well. Get it out in front of more people. 25,000 people around the world, over 25,000 people. That count was taken yesterday. We still got a week to go. Yeah. And uh, Lucy Mark Wakefield is obviously one of our new recruits and absolutely smashing it and had her partner ah! join in yesterday. Um, Lucy, let us know if Andy is joining in today or maybe he's a bit sore and has piked it for the morning. But uh, yeah, let us know. Give us some feedback. Gunnar Nelson as well. Let us know if you've received your original merch pack. I reckon now's about the time you'd probably start receiving them. Uh, it, it last we had a, we had someone ask us a while ago because they're coming. It's coming from France. The uh, supplier mm. who uh, manufactures our gear is in France. Yeah. And, uh, 
it can take a while because of COVID. They're complaining that the, the logistics are slowed down a little bit. Mm. They got uh, they got everyone socially distancing in their warehouses and things like that. So they have to throw the merch to yeah. each other down a line of people. They can't just uh, hand it off. Really? <laughs> Apparently, sure. it slows da- slows down logistics. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's pretty crazy. MS Gamer, hello, welcome to the stream. Here we go. All right, right tribe, remember, use that metronome. Keep to the count. We're creating more intensity here by slowing down that tempo. Focus on form and technique in these pulling movement patterns. Use the scapula musculature, lower traps, lats, rhomboids. That's it, that first movement from the bottom wants to be through the shoulder blades. Get that scapula engaged and pull. Start and finish the exercise with your shoulder blades. (laughs) Jeremy Tang from France, that should have been mentioned in the ad. (laughs) Never, otherwise none of you will come back. No kidding. (laughs) No, in all fairness, it's our third supplier. The first two were woeful. Uh, we the, the quality of the garments were just not very good, and so we um, we kept looking around, and uh, yeah, the, the 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 manufacturer in France just they're, they're more they cost us more. We don't get as we don't make as much on each uh, piece, but they the quality is so much better. It's, so, it's it's really nice. Yeah, Patricia Sturbys is uh, asking if anyone has the Unity T-shirt in the. I don't actually even know how to sp- uh, pronounce that color. And anthracite color? And uh, does anyone like it? Patricia's won one of our t shirts and is going is through our merch store with a Andy fine Lawson, comb. you're saying strange I got. Are you referring to the fact you got? I got my hoodie and t shirt from your first merch run last year. Love it. All ah, right. <laughs> Just last week. Yeah, it's not like it was they're falling apart bad quality or anything like that. It's just that we want... We, there was just... Yanni's a very picky person, to be honest. <laughs> That's all it is. We, we, we always order, uh, like, a couple of everything when we are looking for a supplier so we can have a look at it. We can wear it for a while before we start letting it go out to you guys. And I am... Um, I have high standards. I have very, very, very high standards. We're a we're a, 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 a luxe brand, and I don't, and I don't accept second best for you guys. Never. It does make sense, Andy. Guy and Norby, morning. All feeling chipper after doing that workout. Grip improved greatly after I raided the grandkids' jumbo chalk. Why did it take me so long to think of it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm sure the grip is coming a long way for everyone, especially using those towels. Everyone's going to have the strongest handshake ah. when we come out of lockdown. Who was it, who was it that answered the, the, the question about the two areas of the body that when strength and carry over to all? I believe it was Lucy. Lucy. Oh, um, man. Have you reached out to yep. get her some, a, a T-shirt? Yep, she's yep. got a T-shirt coming um, in the mail. Awesome. Black burpees T-shirt. She's got a burpees T-shirt. Yep. Yeah, I'm wearing it. I'm, I'm rocking a burpees today as well. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, you and Rad have got the same one. Oh, yeah, Rad and I are wearing the same T-shirt today. Look at that. Look, Look at out. that. Good morning, Milos. Yeah. Thanks for jumping on, Mitch. Here we go. <coughs> We're going to have to shave Rad's head and then get Yanni and Rad on camera together and see if you guys can tell the difference. (laughs) Maybe we can shave all our heads and do a who's who. Uh. (laughs) Got 45 on the live stream, 31 likes. I think we can do better than that. (coughs) Gooder Nielsen saying, what did you select for me, Will? (coughs) Oh, you're going to have to wait and find out, but there's (coughs) going to be We got three different coloured mankinis. Yeah. So we got the bright yellow mankini that you wanted, but we also got this really nice beige one and a really nice um, lilac one. And uh, a pair of budgie <laughs> smugglers with my face on the back and a bottle of lubricant. So <laughs> it's coming your way. Fuck. Uh, that's not true. No, that's Lucy not. Lucy <laughs> Marsh Wakefield. I've got Andy joining me again this morning. He loves it. Yeah, Yay. buddy. Welcome, Andy. 
Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for a second morning in a row. Before you know it, it's going to be the second week, then the second month, then the second year. Gonna said I'll be 60 before I get it. Don't joke about that. Uh, you might be. <laughs> no, you'll get it soon, I'm sure. Fingers crossed. Uh, <laughs> I could take, take a quick moment to uh, welcome the 26 new subscribers since yesterday. If you find yourself on the live stream, please introduce yourself in the comments. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We'll send you some love. I'm still waiting for um, Hawk Slayer to come back. I know. That he will. Maybe my screen's not refreshing. I've got 33 watching here. I can tell you guys that uh, thanks to your sharing, Monday and Tuesday's workout this week have had 3,356 and 3,741 views to the workout, which is pretty phenomenal, really. Yeah, so that's doubled in the last two to three weeks, hasn't it? Yep. We were averaging about 1,200 views, and now, now we've last, got two that have hit 3,000. Last Thursday's 3, has had 3,000. Mm. How good. Absolutely. I know we do have a few members who do these workouts a day late because 7.30 is too late for them in the morning. But yeah, the people must have some favourites and they go back and rewatch. Yep. Or it's those 25,000 individuals. Oh, the shirt's come off too. Followers. My God, how did I miss that? Oh, boo. Oh. Too hot for that, buddy. The skins. <laughs> Red's going to have a man bun by the time we get out of lockdown. He's uh, going to go well. And we do try, uh, remember, we do have a link in the description to make it easy for you guys to jump on over and join the UMS Movement Mastermind Facebook group where you can enter the Merch Pack monthly giveaway. And we've had two winners so far, Gunnar Nielsen and Max Silver, was it? I think Max, yeah, was yep. the other one. <laughs> yep. They've got their merch packs on the way in the mail. Of course, they get fully kitted out with one of the Unity Gym hoodies. It comes in black, two shades of grey or white, I think. And oh. uh, you can also grab, and you also get a series of the T-shirts. The Shut Up and Do Some Bloody Burpees from the last lockdown. You get the Unity Gym t-shirt and you get the Unify Movement System Superman shirt. Oh. They all come in a range of different colors, styles. You can get tanks, you can get singlets. You get to choose. Mm -hmm. You can go shopping on us. How do you enter the comp, Will? How do you enter? That's a great question. Thanks, Yanni. Um, you enter by taking a picture of yourself during or after the workout, your best picture or, or even your worst picture, and you pop it up in our UMS Movement Mastermind Facebook group, hashtag at home workouts, and also add the hashtag daily grind. I was just having a quick look before. Vinnie Brown is well in front yeah. this month. Well we're gonna, in we're front. Gonna, we're going to show you a couple of front runners tomorrow on the morning show. Uh, hey. Vinnie Brown is doing well. Oh, God. Absolutely. It's going to be hard to pit Vinnie Brown off, but some quality pitches and extra points if you've got uh, a partner or housemates or pets that are joining in as well. So get those pitches in. Jeremy Tang has said, loving the stubs, Rad. The stubble. The stubble? Yeah. <laughs> this is me shaved, mate. I never shave. I just use a little beard trimmer. <laughs> Max, Sil Max Silver saying, how many shades of grey? 50. 50. 50 shades of grey. <laughs> yeah. Depending on how much Rad is sweating. Morning, Miguel. Morning, Jal Tai. Good to see you back on the live stream. Yeah, 41 watching, 35 likes. Doing pretty well there. Remember, if you haven't liked already, please do. Lars! Lars Ray Jefferson. All of them. Oh, it's Lars. Lars is back. Ah! How are you, Lars? Haven't seen you for a while on the stream. Here we go. Come on, team. Keep ah. pushing it out. Ah. Are you making as much noise as Rad? 
Are the Let's neighbors go, knocking Rad. on Come your on, doors? Peak week, everybody. Are the neighbors putting in noise complaints? If they put in a noise complaint, just send them the link. Unity Gym. <laughs> Live stream workouts. Oh. Richard has already made a comment that the grunts are coming out early today. It's definitely Thursday. Feeling that fatigue from the earlier session. Let's go, Tribe. Never make your workout the second choice. It's always a priority. Make the most of it. It is peak week. That means 110%. Oh. This is your last chance in this cycle to do oh. this workout at 110%. Don't waste it. Mm -hmm. Next week is back off week. And then we've got phase seven coming at you. Rad and I sat down around the, the boardroom oh. table yesterday to start designing phase seven. It's going to be a doozy. We're going back to muscle hypertrophy. We're introducing a whole new overload technique. We're going to be introducing mechanical drop sets. Oh. Just uh -oh. wait. It's time to get swole. I'm getting doms just thinking about it. Oh, you wait. Here we go, tribe. Let's go. Grip that towel and start with the shoulder blade. Keep with the tempo. Stay with Rad. As you're coming down, remember at the last moment, let those shoulder blades elevate up to the ears. Reach your bum down to the ground to get full extension and then lock those shoulder blades back and down. Depression and retraction and pull up. One second pause at the top. Lars has written in, said, sorry guys, uh, living in a different time zone now, so much harder to catch you guys. It's all good. Cheers. Don't be sorry, brother. You're here and you're here in spirit always. Lars was a uh, regular on the live streams in the last lockdown. Oh, cool. Where are you living now, Lars? Oh, God. Let us know. Sweet Jesus. Let's go, tribe. This is going to be a grinder. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're going to be right. You've got this. You are far more capable than you ever thought possible. Success comes only after you stop making excuses. Let's go. For this set, you can rotate away and lean back a bit to intensify the stretch. I like to think that everybody has the choice of what pain they have to deal with. Okay. They either deal with the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Be disciplined, Hold people. It. Ooh, yeah. I like that one. Okay. Change. I was watching uh, a um, speech by Jim Carrey the other day that he was delivering to some group of uh, college students who were just uh, finishing up. And he said, it doesn't matter what you try. The reason why I went into acting and to become a comedian is that he saw his father take the safe route and become an accountant and he got let go of his job one day because of some reason and he realized at that point you can fail at what you don't want to do as well as failing at what you do want to do so you may as well take the leap and make it meaningful yep that's right Lars is in Brazil on and off between Europe and Brazil commuting Ooh, that sounds all right that's an interesting commute yeah just jump on a bus Gwyner has asked Norsk Lars. Don't know what that means, but that's cool. Finding oh. out where his uh, heritage is. Oh. Here Let's we go, go last tribe. Round. Last round, tribe. Let's last put it round. in. Last opportunity. Don't waste it. Everything you got. People don't fail due to a lack of ability. They fail due to a lack of heart. Let's bring the heart, tribe. Let's prove there is strength in unity. What's your 110% look like? Let's go. That's it, I'm sure the only person out there making as much noise as Rad in these workouts is Jeremy. Jeremy, I want to hear you from the gym. Let's go. Today you will do what others won't, so tomorrow you can do what others can't. Let's go. Everything you got. <laughs> That's it, corkscrew those hands into the ground, pull the elbows in by ah! the and push. Woo! You. Remember, tribe, <laughs> we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence uh, is not an act, it's a habit. 
Show up, do the work, make it a habit, repeat. That's it, there are no excuses. This needs to be part of your daily routine, like getting out of bed, like going to work, like brushing your teeth. Let's get it done. A few deep breaths, mentally preparing oneself, entering a state of zen and being present while we're stretching and getting ready for the pull. We don't stop when we're tired, team. We stop when we're proud. Ugh. We stop when we're done. Oh. It's going to be hard, but that but hard does not mean it's going to be impossible. Did we just lose the internet or is it just me? Just you, I think. Oh god. All right, let's go, tribe. Starting and finishing with those shoulder blades. One second pause at the top. You can pop right up into your toes for this one, and that will give you the least amount of assistance from your feet. Otherwise, you can get the balls of the feet uh, onto the ground as well. And then by this round, you may be flat foot, and that's all right as well, as long as you're giving it everything you've got. This is the last of this workout for peak week. The last time you can give it your all, make it count. Oh my God. Remember tribe, you don't know your limits until you push yourself past them. Let's go. I want you to focus as much intensity into these stretches as you do the lifts. The stretching is the workout. That's how we get great results in Unity Gym. It's a one-to-one -one ratio of effort and intensity in stretching, volume. Oh, far out. Here we go. Every day is a chance to be better. Let's take that chance today. <clears throat> Pulling that foot in, trying to hold the heel against the glute. Ah. Ramp City here, peoples. <laughs> Jeremy Tang saying, are we doing one more round for peak week or what? You can. <laughs> Welcome to. <laughs> I'm not stopping anybody from doing anything. But I'll be just fine with four rounds. Remember Tribe, all progress takes place outside the comfort zone. Do that extra round if you feel like you got it in you. The main reason I'm not doing any extra rounds is because of this. Brad's oh, sporting go. a bit of an injury here. He's working around that injury. Lockdown's uh, been hard for all of us. I have to be very careful to not overdo it so that I can still turn up and do these shows every day. You guys have the luxury of making a choice. You don't want to do one which I know that most of you don't, which is awesome. But if we want this ship to keep on sailing, we don't have that choice. So that is the number one priority for me. Oh, hang on, shit. You know, Numero, we were mentioning yesterday that it's, it is tough to train around injuries, but it becomes one of the most important things to learn. And Phil White is big on training around injuries. Yeah. Oh we need God. to make sure that when you are injured, you do not just give it all in. Oh, all right. Bit of a reminder too, Tribe, that they're, that Phil is kicking off the Q&A, physiotherapist Q&As in the Movement Mastermind weekly again. He did another one this week just to start getting that habit going. It's another great reason to get over. Use the link in the description to join the UMS Movement Mastermind Facebook group. 
get all your burning physio, injury management, performance questions answered by some of the best in the game. All right, Tribe Supplementary Circuit starting up now, yeah? Yep. Here we go. Complementaries are done and dusted. Let's smash up that like button. Let's get it done. Push-ups, team. I've seen a few people on the UMS Movement Mastermind group start to add in parallettes if they have them as well. Obviously, Brad's using them because of his wrist injury, but if you are using parallettes, that can help you get that extra inch or two into the uh, push-up movement, get that extra depth, and that can turn this up a notch. Make sure though, as you watch Rad doing these, that he's not letting his core go. Yeah. The correct push-up is like holding a plank and then going through the push-up position. A lot of people let their core go. We don't want those yeah. hips to sag. We don't want that belly button to come out. Chest to the ground. Think oh. yourself, if it, my chest isn't touching the ground, then it ain't. Yeah. I'm gonna go and get a link for those parallettes. Just in case anyone wants to uh, grab them because there's some shoddy ones out there and we want you to get the same ones uh. that we in the gym. Okay, here we go. We've got er Eremitasso, someone want to be my friend and talk about movement? Buddy, we'll all be your friend and talk about movement here. Join That's what Facebook it's all group. about. You can jump in our Facebook group, the UMS Movement Mastermind. Many minds in there wanting to talk about uh, movement and brag about their achievements. But of course, everyone there is in some way connected to the UMS, following our workouts, whether they be our live stream workouts here in the morning or our online programs. A lot of people, a lot of like-minded people in that group. Grant Feldman, morning, gents. Hey, Peter Stefanix, good morning. Hey, hey, brother. Grantos. Grantos pants. How are you, bro? Ah. Grant. Grant's coming oh to Vegas God. with me. Woohoo! <laughs> in in ten years' time. <laughs> Time. I do love those memes of all the old people that obviously live in a retirement home. They're 80 and 80 above years, and they're all booging down to some song, and it says, "Me and my mates, when lockdown is finally over, we can go back to partying." Uh. Let's go, team. These one-arm row rows are brutal. <laughs> on the grip, on the bicep, on the lat. Make sure you're keeping with that tempo though. You can see Rad is get pausing for a second at the top, pausing for a second halfway down and at the bottom. Pausing for three seconds. Three seconds, dooly dooly. Oh God. Well, where we were. Good stuff guys, jump on down into the stretch. Make sure you jump straight into the stretch position, allow yourself to recover there. Don't try to grab a few breaths, have a drink. I've been in that uh, position before where you end up just missing out on the stretching altogether. And of course, like these guys harp on about, and as well as I do, stretching is just as much a part of this workout as anything else. Ooh. If you can dream about it, you can have it, team. Make sure you keep up the exercise throughout this lockdown. It is so important. I've been having a few dreams where I have been able to lie with my head touching my knees, like I can hug my legs or I can do the splits. And I think I've had those dreams weirdly on and off for 10 or 15 years, but I've never been this flexible as I am now, and I'm getting closer and closer. I think my subconscious imagines that it must be extremely freeing All to right. be that mobile. Here we go, team, round two. 
Round two, team. Let's go. Tight core. Pulling the belly button in, switching the glutes on, knees locked out, and going through our push-ups. Nice, slow, controlled tempo on the way down. A pause at the bottom. That is where your chest might be touching the ground, but only just brushing it. We're not lying flat on the ground in that pause. Ah. As much tension through those arms and through your chest as ah. you can. Ah. Imagine you've only got eight, ten reps here, ah. and you need to make it as hard as you can. You don't get to do more. If you are if you are fully fit, fully recovered, and you only had ten push-ups, how would you make that harder? How would you make that ten push-ups count? The secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. What does your future look like? Oh. Uh, our movement friend is from Mexico. Midday over there, very good. We're gonna be sharing more about this, but Mexico was one of the countries that popped up in our 37 countries of popularity. Oh. Quite high up there as well. Here we go, everyone. Here we go, tribe. One arm rose. Getting the guns ready for summer. If you remember a few weeks ago, guys, we were talking about RADS achievements throughout this lockdown as well, and just doing these at-home workouts, because this isn't RADS' usual style of training. It's been a big shock to the system. And RAD, you've probably put on, what was it, about three kilos? Three or and four lost kilos now. And lost body fat as well. The proof is in the pudding. Oh. That rock hard pudding of rads. Oh my These god. These at home workouts are just as effective, if not more effective, That's than workouts in the gym. My wife was commenting the other day, she came up behind me and gave me a cuddle and went, Jesus Christ, you're like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> the rock, but he, she wasn't holding his lats, she was holding something else. <laughs> yeah, that, those arms, look at them, fully dooly. It's a very Australian thing to say. Holy dooly. Holy dooly, yeah. <laughs> I reckon the 26% uh, of people who are from the USA watching this would be going, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I've started saying holy dooly a lot more recently because Yanni's kids <sighs> have been coming into the gym. And even <sighs> though a few F-bombs get through here and there, <sighs> I look at uh, Kobe and Elijah and I just go, whoa, holy dooly. Make sure I don't say something bad. Sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh man, I'm looking forward to deload week. Who else is looking forward to deload week, tribe? All right, I've, I've, I've added the links for the parallettes that Rad's using into the description down the bottom there if you guys do want to pick them up. We do the hard work for you, tribe. There we go. How's everyone feeling? It'd be good to get an idea of who is throwing down right now with Rad. Sure, we've got a few spectators just checking it out, hoping that his shirt comes off. Roy Stern's asking, was that last set? Nope. No. I'm not. Sadly. I wish it was the last set. <laughs> no, it's not. How are you doing, Roy? Roy Stern's doing the workout today. 
Let us know how those pistol squats are coming along, Roy. Roy's got really good mobility and was working super hard at the squats. Getting quite strong there towards uh, the, the end of our freedom just before lockdown. I think uh, those pistol squats that we did uh, for this phase will certainly be churning out now. We've got Gunnar Nielsen doing the workout. He's feeling pretty cooked. Lucy Marsh Wakefield, yes times two. Jeremy Tang. Felix Leon's doing the workout with us right now. Dave Clark's throwing down. Ivy okay, TT's throwing down. Patricia Sturby, yes to working Last out. Round. Hands are slipping on the town. Need chalk. Greg Gillespie saying yes times two. Throwing down in the lounge room. Roy Stern struggling with pistol. Gemma Loughran is a big yes. Sheila Tan is a big yes. And Katie McDonald is a big yes. We've got a good tribe throwing down with us right now. Absolutely. Simon that's Morgan. That's all right, Roy. No one actually doesn't struggle with pistols. You can probably Ouch. punch out 10 per leg and you'd still be struggling. Keep it up, mate. Lars <laughs> 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 has said, I have to admit, I'm on the bed with an ice cold Coke in my hand. Recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Recovery day. Yes. Keep going, try pushing it out. Let's go. Ah. Woo. Woo -hoo. Oh, you could feel that last rep. Peter Stefanik says, we'll do it in the morning in my time. I have no doubts, Peter. I couldn't figure out what that was in my ears. It's a song. There's, there's, uh, there's lyrics in this song. Paul Lou is asking, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because you love it. Marcus jumped on, get a tribe. Here I'm to throw right. a like and get that hype shout out for later. Yeah, Good work, Mark. Everybody. By this point, keep going, Mark. Push it. You can do it. <laughs> so work you got later. this, brother. Declan Lee, yes. Max Silver's a big yes. He's not here to F spiders. He certainly is not. That's another Australian, uh, very Aussie term, I think. Oh, very. Yep. I, I think I was 24 or 25 and I was training a, a woman back at uh, an old gym of mine. And I said, do you want to go heavier on this next lap pull out? She turned to me and said, you're not here to fuck spiders. And I, <laughs> I was shocked. I, I thought, we certainly are not. Spiders have nothing to do with this. <laughs> Remember, Tribe, a champion is someone who gets up when they think they can't. Let's go. Get up off the floor. Let's finish this strong. Last round. Everything you got. What does your 110% look like? Let's go, Tribe. Let's go, Max. Let's go, Lee. Let's go, Declan. Let's go, Mark. Let's go, Paul, Lou, Peter Stefanix. Let's go, Simon Morgan, Katie McDonald, Sheila Tan, Gemma Loughran, Roy Stern, Greg Gillespie, and fam. The whole tribe, the whole Gillespie tribe. Let's go, bring it home. Patricia Sturby, Ivy TT, Dave Clark, Jeremy Tang, Lucy Marsh, Wakefield, and tribe. Let's go, Gunnar, let's go. Who else have we got here? Peter Stefanik doing the workout. Give oh, a shout out man. to my boy Grant. Eremitasso. Let's go, Lars. The Alexia Everyone is definitely together. ready for a deload week. Absolutely. We're going to earn that deload week today and tomorrow, tribe. Keep it going. Let's go, Jal Ty. Let's go, Miguel. Let's go, MS Gamer. Let's go, Margot Sawyer, Martin. Martin Cudells, let's go. Simon Morgan. Dave. Ah! Juan. Come on, Juan, bring it home. Let's go, Rad Burmeister. Let's go, Rad. You. Let's go, Thal Chip. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Good. <sighs> oh, stuff that.
good uh, things will come. That's all I can say, guys. Good things will come. Felix is saying definitely ready for deload. If you've pushed hard, you'll be ready for it. If you've pushed hard, you'll deserve it. If you've done all of the workouts. Hey, that's a good thing. Who's going for 15 from 15 tomorrow in Ooh. phase six? Who's going for 15 from 15 tomorrow in phase six? Let us know. If you are, there's a fair chance you'll be ready for a deload. 100%. Work hard in silence. Let success make the noise. Unless you're rad. In that case, work hard. We lost rad. Loud as well. I think he might be weighing himself. Put on four kilos. Oh, he weighed himself. Four kilos. Lockdown has been good to some. Gunnar Nielsen's 15 from 15. Max Silva. Putting his hand up. Dave Clark, 15 from 15. Damn, look at this. Proving there is strength in unity. United, we are strong. <laughs> Felixion, if I survive today, it'll be 15 from 15 tomorrow. Nicole Collis, 15 from 15. Felix is, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Patricia Sturby, yeah. 15 from 15, looking forward to deload. Diane Norby, me, can't wait to get through legs tomorrow and go for deload next week. Oh yeah, who's got their meal plans all sorted for deload? Remember, calories count on deload week. If we want to level up our strength, if we want to level up, we got to eat the right food. Who's got their meals planned? Here we go. Who's got their recovery planned? Who's booked their better half in for a good massage? Ooh. Epsom salts baths. Who's going to be loading magnesium? Make sure you hit your dietary protein needs. Absolutely essential during deload week. Simon Morgan saying, yep, I'll be 15 from 15. Yeah, beauty. Gemma Loughran, 14 from 15. Well mm. done. Awesome. Absolutely. And I know awesome. Gemma is very active what? throughout the day. Every time I go for a little walk around the park or jump on Instagram, I see she's out there too. Make no mistake, tribe. Five workouts to this level, this complexity, this intensity in a week is a radical lifestyle intervention. Watch what happens if you stay consistent. Watch what happens. You will transform your bodies. It will be phenomenal. Most people that train here at Unity Gym have already experienced what that's like. But for those of you who are new to the five day a week program split and this level of frequency and consistency, you will be shocked at what you can achieve with zero equipment at home. I know we're cheating a little bit today because Rad's using those parallettes. I have linked them in the description. You can pick them up from Amazon, the exact same ones he's using if you want to. Deload your wrist as well, but he is only doing that because he's picked up a little wrist injury. Rad has been doing far more than just these at home workouts to get the gym workout programs produced as well. He does do those at quite a low weight though oh. because he's got to do a few takes in front of the camera. But uh, look at the arms on him. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Tang said, do eggplants count? <laughs> yes, but it has to be the vegetable and you have to eat them. But absolutely, anything to get the calories up. <laughs> I think Jeremy's making a I, joke there. I think, uh, I think so too. <laughs> I think there is. <laughs> oh, you dirty <laughs> bugger. <laughs> Tell you what, sessions here in the gym during classes are always entertaining when Jeremy's around. Yeah, yeah always. Absolutely. Sometimes Jeremy and uh, Sam and I would rock up at like the 6:30 class because it was the only one they could make in the evening, and I was covering for Richie for a few times. They'd be the only two in the class, but it'd be the best class of the day. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, they're good value, those boys. I think Max. I think Max got it. Oh yeah. Let's go, Tribe. Everything you got. Finish strong. Let's do the flexibility. Good and Nielsen, I still have my protein banana cake. So good for D-load. Yum. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, 
Let's go, tribe. Here we go. I'm sure you need some love. Brad needs a little bit of love. We're into the supplementary. Is this the last round? No. Oh, God. I'm sorry, tribe. Let's go. I regret that workout. Said nobody ever. Ah. Let's go. Keeping that core nice and tight. Making sure your body doesn't shift too much when you take ah. your hand off the ground. Don't let the shoulders twist. Don't let the hips twist. Make sure they stay square. Four, four, zoos, baby. Ah. I'm sure ah. the arms are feeling it too. Remember, Tribe, we've also been doing, uh, Yanni's been doing his Inner Circle emails um, every day, this week and last, and we've been uploading informational videos to our YouTube channel and to our Instagram account, uh, all about flexibility and the science behind it, uh, the approach you need to take, how hard to stretch, and how important it is. Make sure you jump on and watch those videos. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out or even pop them into the comment section here if you have the chance, if the arms work. I'd love to answer those questions. Felixian, shout out to Lucy Marsh Wakefield, who's done five from five since last Friday. Great work. Well done, Lucy. Well done. Well done. I think you're beating me. Big achievement. Impressed. I've been uh, sharing a few emails back and forth with Lucy. She's just jumped on the Unity bandwagon and absolutely loving it. Let's go team, push yourself off the ground, push away as much as you can and as little through the toes as possible. Oh, Boom. Remember, drive the stretching is the workout. Don't skip the stretching. Your body is now primed and ready to go. You are in the ideal state to work on flexibility training. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships, quote Michael Jordan. It's a bit like here in the gym as well. Yes, this is an individual effort, but we are all here. We're all together in the mornings. People who are watching the live stream later on in the day as well have us cheering them on. They're a big part of the community through the UMS Movement Mastermind and the online coaching groups. We are a team. This is teamwork. We rock up onto the live stream every morning to get the work done. Series. Oh, man, you got a, how many have you watched? A good like four or five. Yeah, you should finish it. Well worth it. I'll tell you what I did watch over the weekend though was that Cocaine Cowboys Netflix series about Willie Falcone and Sal Magluda. High school dropouts went on to be some of the richest men in history because <laughs> they were hustlers. There's a moral in that story. That's hard work. <laughs> Don't waste your time at high school, become yeah. a drug dealer. Absolutely. <laughs> that is a terrible thing to say on a live stream. I'm just going to throw it out there, boys. We do, but do definitely was, do not condone that. I was making fun of Will's <laughs> comparison for <laughs> amazing stories. Yes, I am sure no one out there has took that too seriously. Well, we got it. We got it. We got a subscriber from it, so it's probably not Ew. from that. I'm just waiting to see the subscriber count shudder and drop. Ah! Uh, might be our fan base in Miami. <laughs> My, Miami's becoming the crypto city, mate. Not the not the cocaine city. <clears throat> Go Bitcoin. Go Bitcoin. Go Miami. Greg Gillespie's 15 from 15 workouts after legs tomorrow. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Dehacking the algorithm. <clears throat> Try my best, Richie. 
Let's go, tribe. It looks like ah! uh, the broader tribe, the greater community, uh, is uh, ready for deload week because there's a lot less people on these workouts than there were on the start of the week. That's for sure. I always fear that people jump in and just try to do their best at the workout on Monday, Tuesday, and, and then and, and have never done one of our workouts before. <laughs> get to Thursday and can hardly get out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> Or they jump in and deload week and think, this is too easy. 140 odd people or something like that, or 178 people on the morning, on the on the start of the week workouts and like 30 or 40 on the end of the week workouts. Yeah. Learning how to manage your mesocycles, which means, you know, the four weeks and being able to get through it the right way, peaking at the right time, deloading at the right time is on another level of difficulty to just being able to bring it to a workout. Honestly, being able to bring it to a workout is the easiest thing. I've seen really unfit, really like um, star gym members, people that haven't really had much experience in exercise at all, really bring it to a workout, you know, and do a really good job. But understanding how to be able to train consistently for mesocycles and do that on and off like what I'm doing, like goes into alignment, Jeremy, with what you were saying, let's like, do five rounds. You can, but I'm not. I know what my body can handle. And to get to that level where you know how to say, okay, this is how I'm feeling. This is what I can afford to give today so that I can still come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day. That is challenging. And at the easier level, at the beginner level of that, if you want to really master it, you want to be training lighter than what you think you should. Lighter than what you think you should, but being able to get through it all is far more valuable. And then the next measure, you get to the end of peak week and you think, man, I should have gone for it a bit harder. Well, remember that. And then next peak week, go for it just a little bit more. Uh, Jeremy's asked a really good question here, which I'd like to get some uh, um, round table discussion on. What's the best way that he or anyone else can <laughs> share the stream on an Instagram story? So you'd have to have followed us on Instagram so you can tag us. And then I would say just do a story videoing the workout on your TV or whatever it el whatever else you are doing. The new Samsung yeah. that I've got can do a screen recording. So you could record it if you're watching it on your smartphone or something. And then um, just tag us. Tag Unity Gym in your story. Mm. That'd be the best way to do it. Would you guys agree? Yeah. I can't think of anything technical right now. If you're watching it at home on your telly, then just record the telly and tag Unity Gym in the using the tag option. And if you're watching it on your phone, you'd have to do a screen recording for a, a, you know the 15 seconds and then do the same thing. Share it on your story and tag us. Mm. That'll help definitely. Yeah. We're we're uh, that's one of Will, Will's um, one of Will's big. Uh, uh, roles here in in unity gym at the moment while he can't manage the gym he's working on the youtube channel i've given him a goal if he can get our instagram to 50,000 followers by the time i go to vegas next year he's coming with me <laughs> all expenses please paid. please yeah. get me a trip to vegas tribe <laughs> everyone jump onto the unity uh, instagram account now unity gym but give us a follow we've got 45,000 people jump on there we'll We'll send make Will it. to Vegas. I'll make it. <laughs> send Will to Vegas. Hashtag send Will to Vegas. And I'll live stream my entire trip in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> He'll document it. He'll yeah. do stories the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Lewis said, you should be able to put the link in a swipe up, Jeremy. I think. You sure you need 10,000 followers for that, don't you, Paul? The swipe, swipe. Not everyone gets the swipe up feature. I'm not sure how it works if you're not a business page, but as a business page, you've got to have 10,000 uh, followers to have, get the swipe up feature. That's what we're pushing for. Mm. I think we're... We're at 9,200 pretty much. We might be a few shy of that, so we need 800 more followers. Send your friends to Instagram, Tribe. Once we get to that 10,000, it's going to start getting easier for us. And you don't see much of me uh, throughout the online programs in here, but I absolutely infiltrate the Instagram page. So <laughs> if you want to see the Australian Prince Harry, jump on our Instagram, here I am. Max Silver has said, that's a good point, Yanni. My flatmate is interested in joining me for a workout, but it would be hard for her to jump in uh, to these live uh, workouts at this level. But then you just 
deload it, Max. You've been here for long enough that you should be able to coach her on how to do that. Um, when you watch the tutorials, I give the um, regressions for the movements. So that's the first thing she'd have to do. You'd have to watch the tutorials and make sure that she understands which regression she should be doing. And at a beginner level, it shouldn't be killing her. She shouldn't be looking like what I'm looking like during the workout. She should be going through the workout with a kind of a, oh yeah, this is maybe a five or a six out of a 10, because it's all about Te doing, doing it the right way. It's about moving the so right way. Technique optimization and building load capacity uh, and, in the beginning, and, guys. It's not about taking your body to failure. It's not about challenging the body. The biggest gains and adaptations come just from optimized technique and load capacity. But if you want to take something away that I think is really valuable about that, like, yeah, you know, get your technique right. But what does that mean? Well, you might say to somebody, okay, we're gonna do pull-ups in the workout and you can't do a pull-up. There's nothing that you can do that's gonna get you to do a pull-up in that workout. That's something that's out of your control. But what is in your control is choosing a version of the pull-up that you can do. And so that's when, when we say do a feet-assisted pull-up and use your feet enough so that you can depress the scapula properly and get up and then you see people barely using their feet and they're coming up like this and they're really struggling at the top. All you need to do is push more with your feet and you're in control of that. It's very, very easy. I can go up to a pull-up bar and put one finger on it and do pull-ups because I just use my feet more. I'm in control of that. And that's not an experience thing. Anybody can do that and that's, that goes for any exercise. You're in control of saying, I can't do this, so I'm going to do this. Oh, I can't do that all the way down, so I'm just gonna go halfway down. And that's where you've just gotta be smart and you've gotta believe in the coaching and you don't you don't look at, like for your flatmate match, you can't, he or she can't look at what you're doing and say, well, I can't do that. No, of course you can't, you haven't trained and you've been training with us for well over a year now. So it's gotta be, okay, I can't do that, I'm gonna do this and I'm not gonna look at you, I'm just gonna focus on what I'm gonna do. Declan no. Lee's asked a really good question here. I feel like I'm just getting started this week. I'm sure I won't feel like deload next week. I think my body responds more slowly over a cycle at my age. Can I just push through next cycle and do next deload? Question mark. Absolutely you can. The deload is, is, is about doing what's right for your body. Uh, we prescribe it on the fourth week because that's common practice but it's got to do with the management of load throughout the mesocycle. And if you don't feel like you need a deload, then by all means don't do it. Uh, but um, just you know, remember that uh, the, the point that you realize that you've overtrained is usually the point that you experience pain or an injury. You know, and you think, oh geez, I, I probably went too hard without enough recovery. Remember, the adaptation you don't get strong from exercise, you get strong from recovering from exercise. The Plan adaptation is where the magic happens. Planning a deload and needing it, it takes a lot of experience to get right. I can do it very easily. I can plan, okay, I'm gonna have a deload in my fourth week and I can work for the next three weeks in a way where I need a deload in the fourth week. I can do the same thing for eight weeks, 12 weeks. So can Yanni, so can Richard, so can Will, so can our senior students. Out the senior students that have been with us for a couple of years or more, when, when I train them and they ask me what the mesocycle is and when we're deloading, by the time they get to peak week, they're coming up to me going, oh my God, I'm so wrecked, I, I really need that deload next week. But that takes a lot of experience to be able to get right. So if you haven't got that right, then what Yanni said applies. You, if you feel like, no, I don't need a deload, keep training, you know, keep going for it. And then when you do need a deload though, you have to listen to yourself because what you've got to recognize is that if you can't effectively plan a deload, then it goes without saying that when you need a deload is going to be unexpected. It's not going to be planned. It's going to creep up on you and you have to learn to listen to that. And what you look for is, do you unex unexplainably feel weaker than you did in the last workout or last week? Is it just like, oh my God, I'm so weak today. I'm so tired. I can't do the same thing I did last week. That's the first sign you need a deload. Um, Anything else you can think of? Yeah, yeah look, if you can, then you can start. Another sign of overtraining is that you start to feel a little bit like you're getting a cold or a flu. Yeah. Uh, Declan's saying the eight-week cycle always feels right for me. Look, I, I don't deload. I deload every 12 weeks. But when I deload, I take three to five days completely off exercise. 
and I focus on getting massages and acupuncture and trigger point and I see the boys from ADPT Physio for a few treatments. I soak in either the ocean or Epsom salts. I do all sorts of stuff. I got a really solid recovery plan. I also wear skins every day for blood flow, uh, head to toe. I've got them on right now. Uh, I, do a, I have a real solid recovery strategy that I've worked on over 15 years, more than a decade, with some of the best physios in, in the, on the planet. And uh, I've got it all dialed in. I, I also I, make I, sure I, that I, I eat I, the right food. I observe, and tell me if I'm wrong, because I won't say this is what you do, but this is what I observe. You also do unplanned deloads. You, yeah. you sometimes will, will just come in and say, man, I don't feel like training today. I'm just too wrecked. And that's an unplanned deload. Yeah. That's Yanni going out. I've seen you do that quite, not a lot, but you know, it happens where you'll come out and you'll go and do one or two sets and think, man, I'm not feeling it today. And you just stop. And that's an unplanned deload. Yeah. So even though you are deloading officially every 12 weeks, you're also doing the unplanned deloads when you're in a state of overreaching and listening to your body. Yeah. And this is where I think a lot of people get it wrong. They don't understand that that is a really valuable thing, that if you're not going to have a planned deload that I would say definitely less than 12 weeks, then you have to be ready for unplanned deloads. But, that, but I, I've been trained to, to get myself to that level. I've been training intensely for 26 years. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and um, Which probably answers Paul's next question. How much experience in years and months did it take for you guys to get the timing right on deloading? 26 years. 26 years. <laughs> 26 no, not, years. Maybe, maybe, maybe 20 years. I'll tell you, uh, this, is, this is my experience with training in a nutshell. I started doing martial arts when I was 17 and my experience with martial arts teachers is that they have no idea how to deload and plan and do that stuff. And if they do, they certainly didn't pass it on to me because what I got from multiple martial arts academies from some very, very good martial artists was you train hard every time you train and that's what you do. And if you don't miss a training day, shame on you, you know. And I never did any sort of um, fights like Yanni did. Yanni may have got some different coaching from boxing because I never did boxing. But then when I became a personal trainer, I learned about the concept of deloading, but you learn about it in theory and to put it into practice, I couldn't get it right at all. And then it wasn't until I actually started working with some online coaches um, about when I was about 35 or 36, so about seven years ago that I started to learn about deloading. Um, and it took years of practicing it to actually get it right. It took years. Because I, I just didn't understand. I didn't have anybody telling me what Yanni and I are telling you now about listening to your body and what the signs are for it. And they, you'll feel it. You'll feel it. But the problem is people feel it and they ignore it. And you see it all the time. You see people come into the gym and they're not feeling it. You, can, you say, how are you doing, man? Oh, I'm not doing that great. I'm just going to push through it. And then they'll come up to you and say, oh, I hurt my back yesterday. Well, you were in a state of overreaching. You should have deloaded, but you pushed through it. And that's what you've got to watch out for. Yeah, I love what, I think it was Vinnie Brown uh, said here earlier. I always try and, I usually, when we're not in lockdown, I used to generally take a vacation mid-year um, and at the end of the year, and I used to always time my most intense training to just front run that vacation. So that for the week or two that I was in Bali or wherever I went, I would be able to really relax and program in a lot of relaxation, massage, things like that, eat lots of food and I'd still make gains. And I, I really like that strategy. Yeah, there was a really good post about, um, about holiday plans with COVID. It was holiday plans 2019, Europe, holiday plans 2020, up the coast to the beach, holiday plans earlier this year, over to Manly Beach, holiday plans yeah. now, the Aldi in the next suburb. <laughs> <laughs> or your lounge room. You know, like, yeah. yeah, that's right. Paul Lewis said, sweet, only 19 and a half years to go. No, 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 not at all, not at all. I guarantee you what it took Yanni and me 10 years to learn, you guys can learn in a year. I guarantee it. And the results that it took Yanni and me five years to get, you can get in a year. I guarantee it. Yeah. Because I didn't, we didn't know what we're teaching you now. You've got to, we live in this golden age of information. It's phenomenal what, the, the, what we're living in right now that people take for granted and we don't realize. But you've got to understand, I'm 43, Yanni's 41. So we're talking about 26 years ago we started training. YouTube wasn't even a thing. 
I didn't even know how to search on the internet back then. I remember I went to my place, my mate's okay. place, and I said, what's oh, the internet? Done. And he said, oh, look, it's this thing. And he turned on the modem and it went. <coughs> and I said, well, what do you do? And he said, oh, well, you can search for things. And we'd search for something and it would come up loading and you'd go away and get make yourself some food and come back for the page to load. And I didn't even get what it was for. So now you've got YouTube. You can think of what's deloading and you can type it in and you could spend 10 hours watching videos and you'll, watch, you'll be watching new stuff on deloading for 10 hours. So, and that could be a real waste of time, but the point is Yanni and I, for when we say 26 years, everything that we know about deloading, probably 90% of it came in the last four years or five years. And it's come because all of the knowledge, everything that we've read has come together and now we've boiled it all down into what we teach you guys. So you, you don't have to go through that process. And the student is destined to become more successful than the teacher. That's the way that humanity evolves and move, moves forward. We build on what the teachers that taught us before, we build on it and make it greater. So you guys have that ability. You have the ability to take what we've learned, only take the good stuff from it and apply it much faster than we could. Now, so if you like this sort of discussion, years. Tribe, and you're still tuning in and listening, this is what we do on the Sound of Movement podcast every Friday. We're See going later, live everyone. again at 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be talking about flexibility training principles. Uh, it's, and we'll be talking about this sort of stuff. We'll be talking about how to deload for flexibility training, everything. So make sure you join us. Remember all the links in the description for everything you need. Merch, joining the inner circle, grabbing the program, finding the UMS Movement Mastermind Facebook group. Remember, Will and myself will be going live 10 minutes early tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up pre-workout show. We're going to be showing you a few of the front runners for the merch oh, yeah. comp. And we're going to be making a big announcement about a new opportunity to get yourself some free stuff uh, using Instagram. Absolutely, we've got a, we've got a whole to new Instagram uh, comp coming out. So make sure you tune in tomorrow. That's Yanni out. Thanks, Thank, everyone. Thanks, Tribe. We'll see you tomorrow morning for the pre-workout show. Peace. Health is about performance, not just body image. You better be willing to accept what you're going to have to do to get there. We'll start focusing on movement goals, strength goals, flexibility goals. When you nail that skill, it's there forever. The body image goal doesn't get you that far. It's the consistency and frequency that's going to get you there. It's not the intensity. There's no shortcut to mastery and movement. Destination doesn't change overnight, but your direction will. It's the gym is not the place to beat up the body that you hate. It's the place to build the body that you love. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image.